hello guys welcome back to the other part of this tutorial my name is Tunde Victor you can send me a DM on Instagram as Tunde Victor in the first part of this video we did the scary touch using frequency separation and touch and bone I also showed you guys how you can add a bit of shine to your image if you haven't seen that video yet I'll be leaving the description in the link below so you guys go check it out so for today's um, part of the tutorial we are going to be color grading this image together so the first thing I'll do for this image if I want to color grade it I'm going to click on my selective color because I want to get rid of the yellows on her face so for my selective color I'll be working with the reds and the yellows because that's where the skin two are the reds and the yellows so for my reds I'm just going to play with my sliders and um, I want to get rid of the yellows. So for my cyan, I'm going to put it in minus nine. Let's see. And um, for the magenta, let's say I'm going to take it up. No, I'm going to take it down to let's say minus four. And uh, for the yellows, since I'm getting rid of the yellows, I'm just going to take the yellows down to about minus six. And um, for the blacks, I'm going to take it all the way down to let's say minus 23 okay fill is affecting the um, red so much so I'm going to take it down to let's say minus minus 3 I'm just going to take it down a little because it's affecting the beads and those things in my hair so if I take it all the way down you can see the reds are no longer there anymore so I'm just going to take it so minus minus three minus three is okay and um for the yellows i'm just going to bring the cyan down to let's say 14 and then uh, the magenta and then play with the with the sliders and see for the magenta I think i'm just going to leave it at zero because it's not really affecting anything and for color grade you don't have to overdo it it's just um little changes a little a little difference just play with your sliders and see if you if you can get what you like so for the yellows i'm getting rid of the yellow so i'm going to work on my yellow slider so i'm just going to take my yellows down if i take it all the way up i'm adding more yellows to the image as you can see so i'm just going to take it down so let's say about minus 11 is okay and for the blacks and the yellows i'm just going to take it let me take it up no i'm going to take it all the way down to minus 20 minus 24 is okay so i'll take my yellows the black my yellows to minus 24 so let's see our before and after this is where we started from and um this is where we are let me zoom in so you can see this is where we started from you can see the yellows are too saturated and right now it's looking better and shiny so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my hue and saturation adjustment layer right here. So I'm click on my hue and saturation and um, since I want to get rid of the yellows, I'll just go to my yellows and I'll play with the sliders. You can see it's looking so so red. So I'm just gonna take it back a little. Take it back a little to minus minus set minus six is okay. Or well, minus seven, whichever works for you, minus six or seven for the hue. And for the saturation let's say let's see if i take the saturation all the way in it will be so yellow so i'm trying i'm trying to get of the get rid of the yellow so i'm going to take the saturation down to about minus 10 and um okay these are before and these are after just a subtle difference and you can see these are before you can see the yellow on the face and uh, these are after you can see the yellows are no longer there anymore so let's play with the lightness and see if we take the light let, let me zoom in sorry let me zoom out so let's play with the lightness and see what will happen it's too big as you can see it's affecting those things on our hair so i'm just going to take the lightness up a little again i think i'll just leave the lightness i think i'll leave the lightness to in zero so i'm just going to click ok you can see how before you can see how after so I'm just going to group them by holding shift and clicking on this down below and click ctrl G to group so you can see our before 
this is where we started from this is where we are let me zoom out this is where we started from and this is where we are you can see the massive difference that um, small changes has made so the next thing i'll do for this image i'm going to be adding um brightness to this image with curves adjustment so i'm going to come to my curves adjustment again i click on curves and um come to my default and click on lighter rgb so once i click on lighter rgb it's going to add brightness to the red blues and green so i'm just going to reduce the opacity because it's too much so i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit i think it's okay like this before and after so the next note i'm going to add noise to this image i already have my action my noise action i'm just going to come to my actions i click on noise and it will automatically add noise for me but if you don't have this action i'm going to delete it and um, show you guys how to add noise to your image so i'm going to delete it right now and to add noise to the image you know, all you have to do is click on new layer once you click on new layer come to your edit here so once you come to your edit, come to your fill and 50% uh, gray uh, mode is on normal, just click ok so once you click ok, it's going to show like this so all you have to do is come to your filter and um, come to your noise come to add noise um, come to click on uniform so once you click on uniform, just I think 5 is ok click on 5 and just click okay and if you zoom in you can see the digital noise on this um gray background so all you have to do is come here to your blend mode and change it to soft light so once you change the soft light click on enter and uh, you've add noise to your image so let's see these are before and these are after if you feel it's too much you can always reduce the opacity so that's how you add noise to your image so the last thing I'll do for this image right here because this image is looking good already I'm just going to add vignettes to this image to make the subject stand out from the background so I'm just going to come here again I'm going to click on the new layer and I'll come to my gradient map and I'm just going to hold shift and um, drag down so you can see then now I'm just going to reduce the opacity a bit like this and uh, add a layer mask and paint over the subject face I'm just gonna paint over my subject face to make it bright and make it stand out like that yes guys so let me group everything together so you can see the before and after so this is where we started from and this is where we are right now so that is how i color graded this image i already posted this image on my instagram you can go check out the image on my instagram and um if you learned anything from this video please leave a comment um i like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.